Public Safety Minister Dominic LeBlanc oversees the border. Hi, Minister. Good to see you. Thanks for coming into studio. Hi, Vashi. Glad to be here. Uh, did you uh, or anyone else in the federal cabinet get a heads up that this was coming? I was in the cabinet uh, committee on Canada-U.S. relations when uh, Christia, who chairs the committee, uh, was uh, given uh, information on, on what was posted by President Trump. So, so does that mean that that your government, that Minister Freeland, or you, th there was no heads up essentially that uh, the the incoming president planned to threaten a 25 percent tariff? I'm asking just because during yeah, the campaign, no, uh, and, and not that, not that no. I was aware of. As I say, I was in the meeting in those cabinet meetings. You don't have your phone. You're not looking at uh, social media. But I, when I was in the cabinet committee last evening, that's when we found out, and I think that's when Christia found out. As well. Is it fair to say then the cabinet was surprised by this? Uh, surprised. I think we knew that there would be moments where there would be these these sort of difficult circumstances. We'd seen that in the previous Trump administration. So um, we have been preparing as a government for a number of these scenarios for some time. Um, and we just need to continue to do that work. So we're not, nobody is traumatized. We're doing the work that Canadians would expect us to do. And we think that we can work through this with the Americans. How do you reconcile for Canadians, though, that on one hand, you've got, I think it was last week, Minister Jolie kind of almost bragging that people are coming to us for advice on how to handle Donald Trump. A few weeks before that, the Deputy Prime Minister saying Canada would be absolutely fine. And then the news that was delivered last night. Like, can you understand how Canadians don't feel very reassured? Uh, uh, Canadians are understandably concerned anytime the United States, the incoming administration, talks about tariffs and high tariffs uh, of this nature. It's, of course, concerning for Canadian workers. Um, the good news is that we have been preparing for this kind of conversation and this scenario um, for some time. We have seen in the previous Trump administration a circumstance like this that was uh, ultimately resolved uh, in a collaborative way that is in the interest of both economies. We think that there are many reasons why the Americans will understand that this isn't in their economic or security interest, but those are the conversations that we need to have. Ultimately, what drove that point home in the last time, the last iteration that, that you're referencing, was the threat uh, and ultimately imposition of counter tariffs. Is your government prepared to levy those, and how soon? Well, we don't levy those tariffs until the corresponding tariffs would be in place, if ultimately they are in place. So the president-elect uh, has, has made this assertion. Um, we're anxious to have the conversations with his administration. The prime minister spoke uh, to President Trump last evening. So we'll continue to do that work. But any responsible government is preparing for these scenarios. But our hope is that we won't get to that point. Uh, but I think the Deputy Prime Minister said today in a media availability I did with her that all of the preparatory work has been and must be done. Uh, but as I say, we think we're some way away from having those tariffs implemented, if ultimately they are by the United States. Um, and we're prepared to talk to the administration and reassure them that we share uh, in terms of border security, for example, which was the subject of, uh, of his comments last evening. Um, we share that concern with the Americans and we'll, I think we can be very reassuring to them. And I know you oversee the border, so I have a number of questions on that exact point in a moment. But I just want to ascertain when you say, for example, that uh, th these tariffs could be far off. I understand from a logistical point of view that the, the president doesn't you know, officially take office until January 20th. He says he's going to do this on day one. My understanding is in that conversation you referenced between the prime minister and the incoming president, that the prime minister emphasized the sort of statistics at the border, right, uh, particularly around migration, and the fact that we're like just a percent of what they're seeing at, at the southern border. Was What was Trump's reaction to that? But I, that was a call between the Prime Minister and the President. I wasn't present wasn't for... Wasn't shared for, with Cabinet? I wasn't... Uh, we don't talk about what's shared with Cabinet. Vashi, you've been around long enough to know that. Um, but I, I do think the Prime Minister told us he had a, a, a constructive conversation with the President. Uh, it's not going to be the last conversation they have uh, in the coming weeks. So I, I'm confident, as I said, that we can work through with the incoming administration, their concerns around border security, precisely because we share those concerns. Um, that work is done by law enforcement officials every day. Uh, we understand the American concern because we share it. Every country, it's a basic element of sovereignty. The country, uh, country should be able to choose who comes into their territory. We expect that f for Canadians. Uh, of the work we do, and we understand the Americans want the same thing. But what I'm trying to figure out, and I understand you don't want to disclose exactly what's said, but I think Canadians 
have a right to understand if they're being told that the prime minister is making the case on a statistical or factual basis that essentially Canada is undeserving of punitive measures, particularly relative to the concerns he's highlighting around the Mexican border, if that means anything to the president, because those statistics exist, right? And still, we are being treated exactly the same as Mexico. And still, the president is threatening the same very punitive tariff on Canadians that will, uh, Can rather Canada, that will have an impact on Canadians, as, as you outlined. So I'm just wondering, like, is he receptive at all to those facts? Is he reacting to them? Is he, does he know them already? Well, again, Vashi, I'm not, I'm not going to speak for President Trump, and I wasn't part of that conversation. I know that the Prime Minister uh, thought it was a constructive and positive conversation. It's not going to be the last one. Conversations like that will take place uh, between the new uh, secretaries, the new cabinet officers that President Trump will put will put in place. Uh, this work is being done every day between the Canada uh, Border Services Agency, the RCMP, the FBI, alcohol, tobacco and firearms, the U.S. Customs and Border Patrol. So as the incoming administration receives the briefings from the officials that run the law enforcement agencies in the United States, uh, we hope that the information will be reassuring uh, to the Americans, because all of the uh, all of the, the information we're given by the Canadian authorities is that this is part of an ongoing, decades-long collaborative effort. Uh, but we're also prepared to increase the resources and personnel, precisely to make sure the border continues to remain safe and secure. Is it though? And and I, I look, I I'm not in any way going to present this as this is the same as a southern border. But the last time you and I spoke, I presented to you data that I think is informing the position uh, of President Trump, and that is the fact that in the last year, basically, the number of people who are crossing from the northern border into the United States, uh, in between points of entry, and being intercepted by police on the other. Side or, or law enforcement on the other side has doubled. Why has your government, you know, allowed for that to happen? Well, so we understand that concern. We have the same concern about people arriving at the Canadian but what are you uh, doing border as well. Answer? So the Minister of Immigration, my colleague Mark Miller, has taken a number of measures, whether it was visa impositions on people arriving from Mexico. He's tightened up, in some cases, visa requirements on direct flights from India. He's indicated that he's prepared to do more. Uh, we're also prepared to work with U.S. Customs and Border Patrol, the RCMP and Border Services, um, to ensure that that flow of people from the north to the south uh, is properly managed. So th this is a circumstance, Vashi, that we've seen before. This is a circumstance that we think Canadian law enforcement are absolutely prepared to handle. Uh, all of the plans around potential surges are in place. Um, so we'll continue to work with the Americans. We think we have a reassuring and constructive story to tell. And our job will be to make sure the Americans understand the work that's being done at the border. If your government is so in control, why were those numbers increasing all year? And why weren't the things that you're talking about now, like today I heard you mention drones and helicopters, why weren't they being employed, for example, in May of 2024, when it's about a tripling of the number of people who are caught crossing the border that way from the month prior? So uh, these come in different cycles for different reasons. The Minister of Immigration, as I said, uh, has significantly reduced uh, the number of people arriving in Canada who ultimately try and enter the United States by tightening up the visa requirements. And he's, he's indicated he's that, that he'll... he's doing that like two years after the boom started. And he'll continue to do more, Vashi, to, to bring those numbers down. Um, I have a lot of confidence in the work that the RCMP and Border Services do with their American partners. There are literally daily exchanges of intelligence information precisely to understand the movement of people, both from the north towards the south, but also from the south northward as well. So um, this is not a new circumstance, and it's one that there has the, been a lot of uh, a lot of good work done over decades. Respectfully, the data is new. The data references the last year. That's that's not you know something that happened five years ago or six years ago. There was something acute that happened over the last year that saw a doubling of the number. That is something that the new borders are raised in local media interviews days after he, he took office. Are you, are you arguing that that's, that isn't something to note, that that isn't something different? Like, I, I don't understand. It, it absolutely is a source of concern. We share the Americans' concern. The good news is that number is coming down and will continue to come down because so, of the work the immigration department. So done. you anticipate it'll what be? where it was three years ago, five years ago? Like, where, what, what's the goal? Vashi, obviously, both the Canadian government and the American government want to ensure that the number of people trying to illegally 
enter the country is zero. Uh, the American government has that objective, so do we. Uh, so we'll do the work necessary, the law enforcement agencies in Canada will do the work necessary with their American counterparts to continue to bring that number down as low as we can get it. Uh, and the good news is that this work has been done for decades in terms of the collaboration between... So there's nothing new that's coming to the table then? Like, are, what, what are you going to go to Trump with to say, like, here's our plan? Is it just more of the same or something new? Well, we're going to continue, as we've done, as I said, for decades, share with the Americans the intelligence information we have around border movement will show the Americans the investments that we've made in border services in the RCMP. I said earlier today that the Minister of Finance and I have agreed uh, to increase those investments. The Border Services Agency, the RCMP, have identified additional equipment that they would need in the case of a surge uh, or some kind of uh, increased capacity challenge. So all of those measures are in place and will continue to enhance them. I guess what I wonder though, on behalf of Canadians who are watching is, if you were so seized with the border and those extra resources were necessary, why aren't they already in place? And if they were, would we be in this position fighting for our economic lives right now? So many of those resources are in place. We have increased these resources over many years. Uh, there are new technologies and new opportunities in collaboration with American authorities. I was briefed, for example, if you're looking at cameras and surveillance equipment, in some sectors it's the Americans that have the surveillance equipment, in other sectors it would be the Canadian authorities, and they exchange that information in real time. So in the real world, this work is done every day, but we understand the American concern. It's a concern that we share. It's a concern we have for Canadians as well. Um, so we think in those conversations with the incoming administration, we're going to be able to show them the good work that has been done and the good work that we're going to continue to do with American authorities. Do you anticipate that you will be able to secure an exemption from these tariffs? Has anyone given you any indication as of yet that that could be the case? It was less than 24 hours, Vashi, since the president He's been, he's was been on talking about it media. during the entire campaign. Sure he has. And, and the prime minister spoke to him last night and we're going to continue to work with the Americans. Obviously, that's the objective. Uh, in, in the previous circumstance, the tariffs uh, were removed reasonably quickly. Our hope is that we can work with them to not see those tariffs imposed, of course. Okay, Minister, I'll leave it on that note. I appreciate your time as always. Thank you so much. Thank you, Vashi.